Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. In this video, the next problem, 18, 19, 20. These three problems I'm going to continue in this problem. So far, 17 problems I've completed on how to compute the income from capital gain. Short-term capital gain as well as long-term capital gain. So if you want the perfect knowledge, watch all the videos from beginning till end. So before starting the next 18th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I've given in the link under my description. Take a screenshot of this 18th, 19th, 20th problem, then I'll explain all the points in detail. Come on, now see the 18th one. Mr. Mohan Raju of 84 years age is owning a building which is used for running his business. Now, first of all, the age of the SSC is 84 years. That means super senior citizen. 80 plus means super senior. The basic exemption limit of super senior citizen is 5 lakh rupees. That point you are remember. Then he is owning a building which is used for running the business on 1 for 2020. The book value of the building is 15 lakh 30,000. Income Tax Act says if an asset, uh, if an SSC sells an asset which is used in the business and which is a depreciable asset, then the gain arising will be short term capital gain irrespective of the period of holding. It is immaterial how many years the SSC hold the asset. So only the thing is you have to see if the asset is used in the business and it is a depreciable asset, so gain arising will be in short term capital. In this problem, building and the building is used in the business. So any gain arising on the sale of building is a short term capital gain. And uh, calculate the capital gain and tax on it if it is sold out during the previous year for 18 lakh. So consideration received 18 lakh and the selling expenses are 50,000 income from other heads are 3 crore 14 lakh 20,000 so Mr. Mohan Raju SSC 84 years he is having income from other heads 3 crore 14 lakh 20,000 we have to compute the tax liability also but before that first of all we need to find out what is the short term capital gain on sale of building so in working note in examination, you must write it is an asset which is used in the business and it is a depreciable asset. So gain arising is a short term capital gain. So computation of income from capital gain for the assessment year 21, 22, 84 years of age. Consideration received 18 lakh. The sale proceed. Selling expense are 50,000. So net consideration 17 lakh 50,000. From this, we deduct the book value of the asset. So in the problem it is given book value of the building is 15 lakh 30 thousand. You can say book value or you can say written down value. Both means same. So deduct 2 lakh 20 thousand is the short term capital gain. Remember the long term capital gain is taxed at a flat rate of 20% whereas short term capital gain will be included along with other incomes and taxed on slab system. That point you remember. So this is a short term capital gain. So income under other heads are 3 crore 14 lakh 20 thousand. And short term capital gain is 2 lakh 20 thousand. So total income comes to 3 crore 16 lakh 40 thousand. On this we have to apply the slab system. Now tax on total income. Slab income rate tax. The SSC is a super senior citizen. So basic exemption limit is 5 lakh. So up to 5 lakh rupees, income 5 lakh, tax is nil, rate is nil. No tax for the first 5 lakh. The second slab goes from 5 lakh 1 to 10 lakh. Second slab, 5 lakh 1 to 10 lakh, the income comes to 5 lakh. The rate of tax is 20%, second slab. So 20% of 5 lakh, it comes to 1 lakh. Now over 10 lakh rupees, whatever is the balance over 10 lakh, that will be taxed at 30%. So balance 30%. How much balance? 
take the total 3 crore 16 lakh 40,000. From the total, deduct the first two slabs. The first slab 5 lakh, second slab 5 lakh. So total 10 lakh rupees you deduct. So 316 40 lakh minus 10 lakh. You will get 3 crore 6 lakh 40,000 into 30%. 91 lakh 92,000. So total tax comes to 92 lakh 92,000. So tax on total income is 92 lakh 92,000. To this surcharge, remember surcharge will be applied if the SSC is having an income of over 50 lakh. Over 50 lakh. In the last so many videos, beginning videos, I have explained you about the surcharge. It is not applied to everyone. If the total income exceeds 50 lakh, then only surcharge. At different rates are there 5, 10, 15 like that. So if the SSC is having an income over 2 crore and below 5 crore, over 2 crore but below 5 crore, 25% is the surcharge. If the income is more than 5 crore, the surcharge is 37%. So all the rates I have already specified. In the present problem, it is more than three crore, more than two crore, but less than five crore because total income is three crore sixteen lakh forty thousand. This is more than two crore, but less than five crore. So twenty five percent is a surcharge rate. Twenty five percent of ninety two ninety two. We get twenty three lakh twenty three thousand. Add up 1 crore 16 lakh 50, 15 thousand. This is the tax. To this we add health and education says 4% mandatory. So 4% of this amount 4 lakh 64, 600. So finally tax liability comes to 1 crore 20 lakh 79,600. That's it. So this is the end of problem number 18. So what you have learned in this problem number 18? The SSC is using an asset which is depreciable, so short term capital gain. So we add up normal income plus short term gain, we'll get a total income on which slab system will apply. And secondly, the SSC is a super senior citizen. So that's why first 5 lakh rupees, basic exemption filing. That's all. Now come to 19th problem. See the 19th one. Sri Sadhu Ram is holding the following assets in the business again. Assets used in the business, so it is a short term capital gain if it is a depreciable asset. We'll see. And all the assets are used for last 23 years. Then he sold all the assets during the previous year, calculate capital gain and tax liability if income from house property is 84,000. So other incomes, house property income 84,000. Particulars building, machinery, furniture, land. Now remember. Building is a depreciable asset. So any gain arising on building will be a short term capital gain. Then machinery is a depreciable asset used in the business. So again, you'll get a short term capital gain. Furniture is a depreciable asset which is used in the business. So again, short term capital gain. Land. Land is a non depreciable asset. Remember, no depreciation is allowed on land. Land is a non depreciable asset. So on land, we will take long term capital gain because no depreciation is allowed. So first three assets are depreciable assets. So gain arising will be short term capital gain. Land is a non depreciable asset. So gain arising will be a long term capital gain. So separately we have to compute for land. Then book value is given. Selling price is given. Selling expenses. Cost inflation index for all the assets in the year of purchase was 100. The purchase year index 100 and sale year index is 301. It is not given in the problem but for your assessment year, remember. Our assessment year is 21-22 and the previous year comes to 2021. And for the previous year 2021, the index number always 301 whether given in the problem or not for this previous year, remember. Now, Sri Sadhura, computation of STCG, short term capital gain on sale of building, machinery, furniture because these are depreciable assets. So consideration received is the sale price given for all the three. So sale price I have taken. Less transfer expenses are given 2%, 8%, 15%. Specifically rates are given. 
टू परसेंट एट परसेंट फिफ्टीन परसेंट तो टू परसेंट ऑफ थर्टी फाइव लैख सेवेंटी थाउजेंड एट परसेंट ऑफ टेन लैख नाइनटी थाउजेंड एडी सेवन टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ थर्टी थाउजेंड फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड डिडक्ट विल गेट नेट कंसिडरेशन आफ्टर गेटिंग नेट कंसिडरेशन बुक वैल्यूज वॉट एवर बुक वैल्यूज आर गिवेन द सेम थिंग आई हेव टेकन रिमेंबर इंडेक्सिंग विल नॉट बी डन फॉर शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल गेन इंडेक्सिंग शुड नॉट बी डन only for long term capital gain we have to make the indexed cost of acquisition here book values are given 23 lakh 15000 then 11 lakh 5000 22000 whatever is given in the problem same book value i have taken not deduct 34 30 minus 23 15 11 lakh 15000 is the short term capital gain on sale of building for machinery 10 lakh 2800 minus 11 lakh 5000 that means negative figure you are getting minus you are getting That is short term capital loss. Short term capital loss one lakh two thousand two hundred. Then twenty five five hundred minus twenty two thousand three thousand five hundred is the positive value. Short term capital gain. So two assets we are having short term capital gain and one asset we are having short term capital loss. So machinery we are having loss. So short term capital gain on building eleven lakh fifteen thousand. Short term capital gain on furniture three thousand five hundred. Total eleven lakh eighteen thousand five hundred. Less short term capital loss on machinery one lakh two thousand two hundred deduct. That means if a source of income, if the, if there is a source on which there is a loss, that loss can be set off from the gains. So from these gains we are deducting the loss. So ultimately short term capital gain is ten lakh sixteen thousand three hundred. Now remember short term capital gain is taxed at slab system. Along with other incomes, so here, uh, first of all, computation of long-term capital gain on sale of land. Land is a non-depreciable asset, so long-term capital gain. Consideration received eight lakh fifty-one thousand. It is given sale price minus transfer expenses are one percent. So one percent of eight lakh fifty-one thousand eight five one zero. Deduct net consideration less indexed cost of acquisition because LTCG. So what is the book value here? One lakh twenty thousand. So one lakh twenty thousand into three not one by hundred. Current to previous year three not. Purchase year hundred. So three lakh sixty one two hundred. Deduct. You will get four lakh eighty one thousand two ninety. This is the LTCG, and this LTCG is taxed at a flat rate of twenty percent separately. So normal income. And special income. This is called special income because flat rate of tax twenty percent. And this short term capital gain is a normal income. So slab system. So here income from house property eighty four thousand given in the last uh, first paragraph. Income from house property eighty four thousand. Short term capital gain ten lakh sixteen thousand three hundred. So total eleven lakh three hundred is the normal income on which slab system will apply. Special income LTCG four lakh eighty one two ninety for tax on normal income up to two lakh fifty thousand the basic exemption limit two lakh fifty thousand for non senior citizen if nothing is given in the problem we assume the SSC is a non senior citizen below sixty years of age so up to two lakh fifty thousand income is two lakh fifty thousand nil no tax from two lakh fifty thousand one to five lakh two lakh fifty thousand five percent twelve thousand five hundred. Next slab five lakh one to ten lakh five lakh rupees the income twenty percent one one lakh. Now balance over ten lakh rupees is taxed at thirty percent over ten lakh. So total income is eleven lakh three hundred. From eleven lakh three hundred deduct ten lakh first three slabs ten lakh. So remaining one lakh three hundred into thirty percent thirty thousand ninety. Add up one lakh forty two thousand five ninety. One lakh forty-two thousand five ninety. This is the tax on normal income. So tax on normal income. To this we add tax on special income that is LTCG at twenty percent. So twenty percent of four lakh eighty-one two ninety. It comes to ninety-six two fifty-eight. Total two thirty-eight eight forty-eight. To this mandatory health and education says four percent. Add up nine five five four. Two lakh forty-eight thousand four not two. The last two, two digits are zero two. Ignore zero two, you will get two lakh forty-eight thousand four hundred rounded off tax liability. That's all. 
So in this problem, what you have learned, we are having short term capital gain, long term capital. It is not specified in the problem. You have to remember the provisions. Depreciable asset, always short term, whatever be the hold, uh, period of holding. But non-depreciable asset, it's a long term capital gain. Land is a non-depreciable. Whereas this machinery building furniture are depreciable. That's it. Now, one more problem we'll do. Problem number 20. Mr. Murthy sold a residential house in Mumbai for rupees 36 lakh. This is the consideration received. The cost of acquisition 16 years ago was 7 lakh. Cost inflation index 100. So year of purchase, the inflation index was 100. After 3 months, he purchased a flat for 38 lakh 50 thousand. That means this is the first time where an SSC sells one residential house and within the stipulated period purchased another residential house. So exemption will be given under section 54. So exemption under section 54 will be given if the SSC sells one residential house and purchases another residential house within the stipulated period. Stipulated period is two years. So within the stipulated period, if he purchased another residential house, exemption will be allowed. So selling expenses are 1.5%. Calculate income from capital gain. It's a very easy problem, small problem, but only the new point is exemption will be given. So far in the earlier problems, no exemption were given. Now, Mr. Murthy, computation of LTCG on house. For the assessment year, consideration received 36 lakh given in the problem. The house was sold. Transfer expenses 1.5 percent. Calculate 54,000. Deduct net consideration. Indexed cost of acquisition. The building was purchased for 7 lakh rupees 16 years ago. So 7 lakh into 301. Current previous year index is 301 divided by 100. 21 lakh 7,000. Deduct will get capital gain 14 lakh 39,000. Now, less exemption under section 54. Now, in working note, you should write on the SSC sold one residential house and within the stipulated period purchased another residential house. So, exemption is allowed under section 54. That sentence you have to write. And the exemption is least of the following two amounts. These are the law, these are the provisions I am explaining. Whatever I am explaining is the provision law given in the Income Tax Act 1961. So, list of the following two. First one, capital gain amount. How much is the capital gain amount? 14,39,000. Secondly, the cost of the new house. What is the cost of the new house? The cost of the new house given in the problem is 38,50,000. So, whichever is less will be allowed as exemption. So less is 14,39,000. So 14,39,000 is the exemption allowed under section 54. So exemption 54, 14,39,000. Deduct the LTCG will be nil. Long term capital gain is nil. Nothing is taxable. That's it. So this is the 20th problem. So totally 20 problems I have completed on computing the income from capital gain. If you are continuously watching, you might have got a good command on how to compute the income from capital gain. Inshallah, the next problem will continue in the next video.